Hi right, guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we pour a garage floor that's got a two inch slope in it from back towards the garage door. So what we're doing is we're snapping our chalk lines for our finished floor grade. I'm going to get the, the chute hooked up so we don't have to pull as much mud. Yeah, we're using a 12 foot chute. So for you guys that don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. I specialize in all types of concrete flat work. My channel's all about concrete work, everything about concrete. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you like concrete, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification too. I come out with a couple videos a week about pouring all kinds of concrete stuff. You can see we're pouring out the concrete. Now I was hired on this job just to pour and finish the concrete and saw the expansion joints after in the floor. Uh, I, was, I was hired by the guy that did the concrete foundation. You can see we're pouring this inside a frost wall. And what the concrete is, is we're using a 4000 PSI concrete with fiber mesh reinforcement in it. And it's also got a water reducer in it. And the water reducer allows us to pour a little bit looser slump without hurting the strength of the concrete. So the builder, who's the general contractor, is the guy that hired the foundation guy. And between the two of them, they decide on what they want in the concrete as far as reinforcement. So I really don't have any say. That's why you don't see any wire in here or rebar. Um, and they decided just to use the fiber mesh. So that's what we're using here today. And the general contractor also hires the guy that does the subgrade excavation, the dirt work. So they, it was nice and compacted in here, and it did feel, it did feel pretty good compacted. The builders had been working in here for a while and put their saw husses and their saws in here. That's why they scuffed it up a little bit. So we get the concrete poured out, get that first truck dumped out. As you can see, that was seven and a half yards on that first truck. And now what we're doing is we're making our wet pad in the middle. And that wet pad, as long as well as the pads on the side, are an inch lower than the concrete is in the back there. Up, you know, where Luke's straight edge in there in the black sweatshirt. So the floor slopes an inch from the back to the middle, and then it slopes another inch from the middle to the front. If that makes sense. So we're we're sloping it out the doors two inches. So we strike our middle pad there to go by. We wet screed everything, so we're kick screeding right here. And then we're screeding down this first bay. And with only an inch slope in about 12 feet there, 12 to 13 feet, you know, the concrete's really not gonna wanna sag at all. So it's not much different than really uh, straight edging or screeding something that's flat. So that's really not a lot of slope, two inches from front to back in a garage like this. It just helps, it helps the water, when water drips off a car or something, it helps the water move towards the garage doors instead of just sitting in a puddle or maybe even, you know, headed towards the back of the garage. So we slope just about every single garage we do like this, we slope it out the garage doors. You can see we got, so we got the first truck screeded and now we're putting the bull float to it. So hey, if you guys like videos like this, go ahead down there and smash that like button now. I'd appreciate it. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It puts my videos out to more people and just helps teach more people about, you know, how to pour concrete if that's what they're trying to learn. And that's basically what my channel is about is just to, trying to help teach people, help educate people how to pour and finish concrete. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button. So what do you guys do? When you when you screed concrete like this, would, do you like screeding the way we do, kick screeding? Or do you kind of saw it back and forth? Um, or do you like using a vibra screed to vibra screed a floor like this that has a slope in it? Let me know down there in the comments. You can see Eric's now finishing up. The bull floating, and I'm backing in that second truck. That second truck's out there mixing up right now, and he's got another seven and a half yards on. It's in the early springtime, so if you see what looks like a little steam or a little fog in there, you, that's what it is because the, the water in the concrete is still really hot. It's about 140 degree water we're using. 
and the air temperature was in the 40s this morning so that's what that steam and that fog is you see in the air so we're starting to pour the second truck here and we'll get as much of this poured out as we possibly can before we start screeding You can see Luke's kind of breaking down the concrete behind the chute. Darren's over there magging the edges to that chalk line we snapped. And then we got Eric working with us today. Eric is, uh, he's somebody that's worked for me for years and years and years. He's now a full-time uh, special ed teacher at a high school. But because of the situation right now going on, that he's got time to work with us in April, which is pretty cool. You can see all that steam and fog coming off the concrete. Sun's coming up. It's going to be a really nice day out today. So it's a good day to pour concrete. Every day's a good day to pour concrete, really, as far as I'm concerned. Now Darren's getting that front door mag there to the top of the form. We like setting our forms right to grade if we can. And then what we'll do when we go to finish this is we will slope those areas where the garage doors are down just a little bit. So any, any rainwater that hits the garage door when the door's closed will we'll run down the door and then hit that slope and run right out the garage door. And we always like to strike our garage doors to make sure they're nice and level. There's nothing worse than having a garage door sit on some concrete that's not level and then you have a gap under it. So we're wet screed in this bay here. We'll get that finished up, then we'll move over to the next bay and get that screeded. Again, how many of you guys screed like this or even tried? Let me know down in the comments. If, uh, if kick screeding is something you've never done, let me know. And, and let me know why. It's just that you just weren't taught that way or just never thought about trying it that way. We either kick screed all our floors like this or we vibra screed too. We got a, we got a vibra screed we use a lot. So we're finishing this up right here in this last bay. You can see the concrete's dried up quite a bit already with that hot water in it. You know, it doesn't take too long for it to start stiffening up. So you want to just, you know, move right along when you're screeding concrete with hot water in it. Now I'm going to get the bowl float and get finished bowl floating uh, surface. You can see how nice and smooth that makes the surface. Pushes down all the rocks, brings up the paste, gives you a nice surface to start troweling. We will power trowel this floor. We'll, we'll get it power troweled nice and smooth. And then we'll saw our expansion joints in it. If you want to see how we power trowel concrete, or if you want to learn about that, I'll have a couple videos at the end that'll pop up that you can that you can uh, check out. And that'll show you how we first, how, how we determine when to start finishing the concrete and then just how we power trial it. So again, if you're new to my channel, it's all about concrete work, guys. We do stamp concrete, we do you know, sidewalks, pool decks, patios, we stain concrete, we do epoxy floors on concrete, a lot of concrete repair. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead down there and hit that subscribe button now. If you wanna learn how to pour concrete and set up concrete slabs, you know, I gotta, I got a course down there in the details of the video you can check out. It'll teach you everything you need to know about how to set up a slab, how to pour a concrete slab, how to finish a concrete slab, all that good stuff. You can see Darren's just kind of waiting for me to, to finish bull float, then he's gonna mag out that bull float line. When, when you pick up the bull float, it leaves a little bit of a line there. So he's gonna mag that nice and smooth. And then we all they got to do is wait for the concrete to set up enough to, to start finishing it. So that's how we pour a garage floor with a slope, guys. Probably 90% of the garage floors we pour, and we'll, we'll pour over 100 of them, you know, in a season, uh, have, have a slope like this. Let me know if you guys pour garage floors with slopes or if you just pour them flat down in the comments. And again, guys, we'll, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.